Right, folks, a decision has been made about this save and we are officially in sudden death overtime. Every episode remaining in this series now will contain a Champions League game and if we lose it, there'll only be one more episode afterwards which will just be letting you know what happened at the end of the season. I'm not going to show you... Well, I will show you the league games around the Champions League games but I'm not going to spread this out over three, four, five episodes if we get knocked out of the Champions League today. This season is Champions League or bust and we have got a little bit of work to do just to stay in the Champions League today. Hello and welcome to my Football Manager 2019 playthrough with Chelsea. I'm Kev. This is part 18. I normally say that somewhere in the beginning there. Um, but today we're playing against Liverpool in the Premier League and Valencia in the Champions League. Since you were last with me, um, we've continued to, to faff about a little bit. Um, we've done all right in the league. We're still in the FA Cup, but we did lose against Valencia in the Champions League. 1-0, late goal, very sad. Rudiger own goal. I mean... Rudiger's getting a bit of a reputation in this save at this point after what he did last week. Um, but we've just got a little bit of work to do. Liverpool are second in the league. We've, through our good form, got ourselves back into the Champions League mix. We can't win the title, though. But we can put a dent in Liverpool's aspirations today. And we have a little bit of transfer news for you as well. Right at the end of the transfer window, we did some business. I know we had no money. We solved that problem by selling Ruben Loftus-Cheek to Championship Wolves for £30 million. I mean, they've got some money to throw around. They're 10th in the Championship and have given us £30 million for Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Also, Callum Chambers has gone out on loan to Watford. He might have been a flop. Um, and we've signed this guy, Dejan Jovalic, who's a 20-year-old Serbian international, three caps, so three goals from four caps, two and a half star current ability, five star potential. To give that context, he's apparently a better striker than Kasper Dolberg. Uh, so he comes in to the squad for the remainder of the season. I think in this, with the striker crisis we've had, it's more helpful to have another young striker around than having Loftus-Cheek, who just isn't get, wasn't getting anywhere near the team. So this is the team we're putting out for them. No, it's not. Why would... Kepa's injured. Oh, hang about. Hang about. We need Nick Pope in there because Kepa's picked up an injury. Um, Blackman's going to have to come up onto the bench. Barkley. There you go. Let's just shuffle this around a little bit. That no, would we'll do that. That's the team that's going to face Liverpool. I think that's because I was planning on a 4-2-3-1 and changed my mind at the last minute. Um, in fact, is Aspilicueta fit to come in again at right back? He is. So we'll make that change as well. Oh, you don't normally see me picking the team. I feel I feel dirty and ill-prepared. Is Hazard still injured as well? Right, let's get into the Liverpool game. Hopefully, pick up a positive result. But ultimately, I'm not that bothered if we come out of this episode having beaten Valencia and made it into the next round of the Champions League. I think we'll all agree that's the result that we're looking for. But we are reigning Premier League champions. So let's tell them we do expect to win. Because I do expect to win. It's Liverpool. We should be able to beat Liverpool. They are top of the league as it stands. But we were top of the league this time last year. So, you know, on that basis, we should be able to beat them. That's the Kev logic that I'm going to give you today. And I am going to stick to it because... I mean, they've not, they've made as few changes to their their team as I have to mine. There's not much in the way of new faces there, compared to what their team is in real life. And our squad's very similar. Um, in fact, from our starting eleven, Jan is I, and he's only in by default because um, oh, and Nick Pope, I guess, who's also in because of injury. But Willian, I am a Willian man. I've told you this before. Tenth goal of the season from Willian. He is. He's been the star of what's been a bit of a flop of a season, but he has been our shining light, our beacon of hope that he can continue this form through a Champions League run and drag us single-handedly to European glory. Um, but he's got a goal in the Premier League as well, which is quite handy. 1-0 up after 15 minutes, but now Liverpool are on the attack. As Azpilicueta heads it, but only as far as the edge of the penalty area, which isn't particularly helpful. And Liverpool continue the attack and they're just knocking the ball around like we're not even there. And that was, I mean, that was quite a good goal. That was better than ours, really, wasn't it? They they did just knock the ball around us as if we didn't have any defenders. And I'm fairly confident we've got some defenders, but... Whoever was supposed to... Kante's the one who should have been picking him up on the edge of the area, really. But I guess Kante's so out of practice playing as a holding midfielder. I know I would normally play Jorginho there, but Ross Barkley's been in stunning form. I didn't want to take Barkley out of the team. So I kind of... 
meant I had to play Kante uh, as our holding midfielder and keep Jorginho on the bench, and it didn't really work out there. But Morata's in, and that looked like he scored to me, but it hasn't been given, so I guess it just went narrowly wide and then bounced into the back of the net, the, the back of the back of the net. I know what I mean, and Liverpool have scored again. This is It's all got a very familiar feel about it. We, we, for whatever reason, we dominated the Premier League last year, and we're just we're not getting a, we're not getting the 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 rub in the Premier League this year. That's taken a defle- it's a set piece again, just like what Man City did to us. Set piece after set piece, and it's just bobbled around, taking a bit of a deflection. Williams furious. If Williams furious, I'm furious because I'm a William man, and he's very, he's he's moving between. Look at him. He doesn't. He can't make his mind up. He's having a proper crisis out there. He's moving from anxious to frustrated to very frustrated to furious, and flicking around all of them. Poor old William doesn't know whether he's coming or going. Um, Right, assertive. We've got to get out there and sort our lives out. Um, I'm going to change the midfield around. We're going to go to this system, which, I mean, this is really what I had in mind before the start anyway, and it was a last minute. Liverpool are quite good. Let's let's drop drop a midfielder back and not go quite so aggressively at them. But all it's done is nullified the Ross Barkley threat. Look at Willian. Frustrated, furious, frustrated, very frustrated, furious. It's... He is having some troubles out there today. I might have to take him off just before his his ears, his brain starts dribbling out of his ears. He is really struggling. Um, but we've given away a penalty. Nick Pope, justify your price tag. He does. What a goalkeeper Nick Pope is. And that should give us... Come on, let's use that to generate some passion. Nick Pope saves a penalty. Now the rest of us can instigate a passionate comeback. Let's have a look. We're going to take off Morata, bring on Icardi. We're going to take off Ross Barkley. We're going to bring on Phil Foden. We're going to do a triple. Kovacic off for Jorginho. I nearly brought Will Hughes on. I can hear the riot from the comments section if I just go past Jorginho and bring on Will Hughes instead. I'm not quite that set in my opinion that I don't like Jorginho. Um, and plus, playing in the deep line playmaker role, it should keep you all happy. Um, William still furious, frustrated, furious, frustrated. At least he's not anxious anymore, I guess. But now Liverpool are down to 10 men with 10 minutes to go. Right, now we've got to just go for it. Push forward. Yanis I with the corner and it falls to Kante. Kante hasn't scored enough goals this season. Finds Christensen. Over to Emerson in acres of space. Emerson, rather than just cutting it, just drive that across the penalty area. Instead, he elects to have a shot and it does win us another corner through Yanis I. But Allison is there to collect. And that's, I mean, I don't expect us to have much in the way of more chances after that. But we have got the ball again and the highlight continues with Jorginho all the way back to Pope and Pope just lumps it forward to Emerson which is exactly where Jorginho should have put it Nick Pope knows that we're showing passion we're not doing little back passes back from the centre circle to the goalkeeper we're slinging the ball forward passionately Foden now across towards Jorginho Willian is there but can't get it under control and now Liverpool have the chance to counter attack and um, Yanazai in with the tackle see Yanazai best winger in Belgium and can't get the cross in. Mm. I think we've lost at yet another Premier League game, haven't we? Emerson with the throw. And hopefully we're just getting that nonsense out of our system. It gives me the chance to really shout at them. To motivate them. I mean, it's upset quite a few of them. They're getting fed up of my shouting now. I think I'm losing the dressing room, boys and girls. We need to beat Valencia. Here we go then, folks. A few changes for potentially the last... Live com game of the series. Um, we're keeping the defence and the midfield pretty much set how they were in the last game, but we are bringing in an injured Eden Hazard to play on the left-hand side just because, you know, even if he's injured, he's got to be better than Yanazai. Surely Yanazai's on the bench to come on if needed. We're also going with Icardi again up front because Morata wasn't effective in the last game and we spent £87 million on Icardi and I can I can see the headlines now. We need... We need a win in this game to save our season, and I don't play the pay. I don't pay. I don't play the player. That's a complicated sentence that we spent eighty-seven million pounds on in the summer. That's the sort of thing that gets you sacked. 
And as much as I don't want to string the rest of the Premier League season out over a number of episodes, I also don't want to end this series with getting fired. Because it started so well in that first season, so well, in fact, that we decided to do a second season in the attempt at winning this very competition. So we should at least try and stay in it beyond the first knockout round, especially because I was so confident when we got Valencia out of the hat when we had the draw a few episodes ago. So we're 1-0 down from the first leg, uh, but... If, oh, if we'd have tucked that away, it nullifies all of that nonsense and it just becomes, right, let's beat them tonight. And really, that's what it is. If we win the game tonight, we're through, unless it's 1-0, in which case we have to score again or win on penalties. I think you probably all know how the Champions League works, but there's a goal from Willian, the man himself, everybody's hero. I mean, has there ever been a finer player to wear a Chelsea shirt than Willian? He's in with another header. He's lethal in the air. And it's 1-0, 15 minutes on the clock, 1-1 on aggregate. Obviously, we do need to be aware of the possibility of Valencia getting an away goal, which we no longer have the opportunity to do because we're in London again rather than Spain. But other than that, I mean, if we score a couple more goals, then we've got to be feeling comfortable. Hazard is already struggling massively. I don't. He's not making it to the end of this game. At all. He might not even make it through the rest of the season if we manage to break him today. Suffered a pull, a pulled hamstring. So he was already injured and now we've put him on injured and he's pulled his hamstring and Akali's picked up an injury as well. I feel at least one half-time change coming on. Um, and I think we're going to have to bring Morata on for Hazard and get Morata out on that left wing where he has been effective in spells this season. Since he had to sit out those four games of his suspension, he's not been particularly effective in any position. But Kovacic, with a long run down this right wing, cuts it back to Icardi and that's 2-0 just on the stroke of half-time. That was £150 million pounds worth of goal. That's how much we spent on those two players in the summer. And... I guess that's what you get if you spend big. You get Champions League goals. And by the way, talking of spending, after the Ruben Loftus-Cheek deal, we're actually running at a, tran a net transfer profit this season of about £15 million. So, you know, Kev knows how to do transfers, even if you like, all thought they were a little bit rubbish. But now I think I definitely am justified taking Hazard off. I don't want to risk breaking him even more than I probably already have in that first half. Um, I am pleased with how things are going so far. Please don't mess it up from here, lads. And let's get Morata on, on that left wing for the second half, coming in as the inside forward. We do need to keep an eye on Akadi as well, because if he's picked up an injury, what's up with Akadi? Akadi has a potential knee injury, so Yanazai is probably going to be coming on imminently. And then we'll move Morata up front, I guess. As much as, in fact, we're going to do that now. I can't risk further injuries to key players. So then we'll just swap those two over. Yanazai can be our left wing. Murata gets up front where he should be, I guess. And we're going to switch to our counter-attacking variant of this system. Just to try and see out the game now. We're ahead in the tie. Um, last thing we want is for Valencia to score. Aspilicueta to Emerson. We've got Kante sat back waiting for it, but Emerson doesn't need him and just sticks it into the top corner. It's said in the commentary at the bottom of the screen that that's a sensational goal. It absolutely is a sensational goal. Look at the state of this. Aspilicueta finds him in space, doubling up on our fullbacks because Aspilicueta took the throw and no one knew who was Mark and Emerson because they were all covering Aspilicueta instead. And there you go. Bang, top corner, 3-0. We're on our counter-attacking system. Surely, at this point, we're just about home and dry. Um, we're going to take off Ross Barkley, bring on Jorginho, just shore up the midfield a little bit. Emerson's picked up a knock, but hopefully it's something that he's going to be able to play through. I probably should have looked at that before I made that substitution. Kovacic is now injured as well. What is it with injuries in this save all of a sudden? We'd been doing so well surviving injuries for so long and now they're all coming along at once when we really don't need them. Our season's already been ruined in the league by injuries. We had too many at once and we just weren't able to recover from the, the four or five games where we were just rubbish. And now they do have an away goal. We're still ahead in the tie, but with 15 minutes to go and potentially down to 10 men because Kovacic is still off the pitch at the other end getting treatment. Now things look a little bit dicey because if Valencia score again, obviously they are then ahead in the tie on away goals. This is this is all suddenly got a little bit stressful. And please don't mess it up, lads. Oh, my word. Oh, that is one of the biggest misses in the history of football. That was mad. Um, do we drop the wingers back? We can't really. They're not very good at defending. 
it's only going to make things worse. We just stay as we are. We're already counter-attacking. Emerson with the corner. If Morata can stick it in here, he's a hero. Um, instead, he just runs it into the corner, which is also fine. As Bilaqueta to Kovacic to Jorginho. Just keep hold of the ball here. That's fine. Kante didn't get the memo. There's still four minutes of time added on because of all the injuries in this second half. But now, surely, the time has run out. It has. And we are through to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. We did it the hard way. My word. But through to the quarterfinal we are. And we'll find out who we play in tomorrow's episode. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>